After walking through a vast swamp filled with fog, the player starts to see a light. This trip is dangerous. Enemies disguise or try to trick the player into traps. This one light gets brighter and brighter the further they go. Like a moth called by a candle, the player hears a familiar voice in the distance. A light whisper, which increases in intensity the closer they come. Stepping out of the grass onto the open muddy area, the player is greeted with the lake. It lies still and seems to have a firm surface. They see a statue and the voice appears to come from the stone itself. A golden pose to greet the great ones and call for support. A freedom you so desperately seem to seek. The player praises the moon. Ripples start to appear. The lake slowly parts. A soft-looking horse rises out of the water. Its fur glittering in the moonlight. The player hears a new voice. You need a ride? It is here where they have to make their choice. Do they take the ride to the bright spot on the far end? Do they swim or do they attack the creature? The horse is known as a Kelpie. This information was scattered around the swamp by NPCs and items, but not everyone knows what the Kelpie is. It seems helpful and offers a ride to the other side of the lake, though it also has a bottomless hunger. Accepting the ride will end in almost certain death, so the only way out is to attack, right? The fight is tough. The mod makes it hard to move and the area is fairly tiny and enclosed by poisonous fog. The bones and hooves are strong as steel and only its flesh seem weak. That means attacking the face is the only possible way to wound the horse. It uses waves to get the player off their feet and the hooves to stomp. If they get stomped it's even harder to move, but paddles help getting rid of the dirt. In a second phase the voice starts to appear again. Why? Are you hurting me? The boy starts to back, to cry, to scream in agony. You started the fight. The text fly into a frenzy. They get stronger and stronger with time. The player has less and less time to react. The creatures had aggressively trying to bite them and drag them into the abyss of the lake. If the player manages to beat the Kelpie, they receive a shiny longsword as bright as the moon, filled with magic of the creature and known as the Moonlight Sword. They can now cross the lake by using the seaweed as a float. Getting there will be another story, and what is waiting on the other side should not be told today. But a question still looms in the room. Do you need to fight the creature? What do you think? Hey, welcome to the unscripted pod. Um, I wanted to talk a bit about the whole drawing itself. So I have, I have something. Oh, oh no, <laughs> you can't see that. It's, it's okay. So this drawing is made as an entry for a competition that is um, that was created by Vati Vidya, one of the biggest souls-like YouTubers. I don't like the new Salt Spawn Sekiro way. Like, oh, that's not a good name. Just Salt Spawn Sekiro is not really for me, especially. It's Salt like. So, um, if you don't know, Elden Ring is the next Miyazaki masterpiece in quotations, of course, because it's not released yet. And. This guy that is writing the Game of Thrones books, J.R.R. R. Martin, George R.R. R. Martin, J. 
GR Armada. George. I, I mean, he is George, right? I don't know. I'm not into the um, Game of Thrones stuff. So, <laughs> because it's a Miyazaki game, everybody is exploding and having a good time. You can go on the um, Elden Ring Reddit and have a lot of fun about bosses that are not even existing yet and people not having the chance to beat because they're extremely unfair and stuff like that. It's gorgeous. And um, for that matter of fact, uh, Vati created um, a competition so that you can, I mean an artist can create what they want. I don't call myself an artist. I will definitely not do in the long run or anytime soon but the instance he talked about the European Gaelic Irish Scottish um, law that is uh, the ground for Elden Ring the first thought of m came to me was a uh, Kelpie Kelpies are one of those animals that really fascinated me since I first heard about them it's some kind of creature that is depicted in different ways. There is a Kelpie version in Harry Potter and the creature book, but if I remember correctly, it's not a one-to-one -one copy from the original Scottish tale. I think it was Scottish. I'm so sorry if that's wrong. <laughs> I mean, it could take two seconds to Google that. Yep, Scottish, but it's written with an IE and Kelpie with an Epsilon is a dog. Now that is interesting, I always thought it's the other way around. Fascinating. Oh, there's a Kelpie Epsilon with the folklore stuff. Yep, it doesn't matter. Um, the Kelpie is really interesting and I love the story surrounding it. I know this story as a unicorn-like creature struggling in the swamp, trying to get out and you want to help it and it's dragging you down into the swamp. The original story was that it's a horse trying to help you. I mean, you can say no if you come close and sit on his back it's going to get you round. So if a horse ever asks you, hey do you want to go to the other side of the sea? No, just say no, he will kill you or she. I don't know if the Kelpies have um, genders. I decided uh, to do pixel art because in my head I created an amazing picture and um, I didn't realize that I was not not able to recreate it. I do not dislike the picture, I dislike that I had too high expectations. So if you see that and think, oh that is not looking good, I'm sorry. <laughs> In my head it definitely looked different. But I had no more intentions on working on it because I feel it would not help me and I should just try to improve and um, get back to it a different day. I do not expect to win anything, I just wanted to draw Kelpie and wanted to share it with the world. So, if you visit this video, why ever, whatever reason, hi, I hope you had a good day. I will say goodbye, see you next time, next week. And until then, bye-bye.